Hello friends, we're already here again with more of our 100 cat colony playthrough. We've been stuck on about four cats for maybe the past three or four videos. Uh, today though, happy news, we're definitely gonna get two more litters. Uh, one pregnancy is 18 of 20 days, the other is 19 of 20 days. So yes, yeah, so definitely some cats coming in very, very soon. We're hoping for big litters here. Uh, but even a small litter of uh, just a couple cats would be good to keep the progress going, get us more females, and hopefully continue uh, producing even more cats so someday we have the 100 that we need so badly. In the last video, we had uh, a few more unfortunate events occur, uh, including the loss of an arm and a leg. Uh, happily, not all in the same person, but Jennifer has left, lost one of their legs, and Yoda has lost uh, one of... Actually, both lost legs, I guess. We have two missing legs, and... There's not a missing arm. Oh, that's great then. Hooray, no missing arms. Only, there it is. Right arm and left leg. Jennifer is looking very, very awkward there, missing uh, plenty of their body parts. That is, that is not a happy feeling for us. Um, their manipulation of moves may be slow forever and always. Uh, we don't have bionic arms yet, and they're not playing with the mod allowed you to make bionic arms on your own. So to wait for a trader to come by and get us that sooner or later. Uh, for now though, let's go and start replacing those parts. I uh, can't have people uh, missing important body parts. Um, uh, give them at least replacement peg legs. It was left leg, yes. Right, left leg is yes. Uh, blood inside this room is not too good. There's less Jennifer to come up here and clean this blood and dirt and so on. <clears throat> okay, Yoder, handle just a minute here. And they'll take care of Jennifer also. But I'm feeling like, uh, pretty heavy cost on our, our poor people. Uh, we did kill quite a few uh, ostrich last night, as you can see, that's plenty of food for us for long term. We'll get it hauled in so we don't end up having it go rotten. We got plenty of days though. Two days still before that has to happen at all. Jennifer's on the floor. That's no good. Let's go and turn some Jennifer's bed just so uh, they have a place to sleep, rise and shine, head to bed. Uh, the room now is, um, yeah, nice, decent quality hospital. Should be nice. Getting that peg leg installed, using the good medicine it seems, but that's fine, as long as it ensures that we don't have um, any real... Uh, infections or accidentally cutting off other parts of the body, I'll be very, very pleased. So, Levin, I trust you. Make Yoda a proper pilot. Pirate, rather, not pilot at all. If you can fly with a peg leg, that's great, I suppose. Uh, next up is going to be Jennifer needing just the same treatment on just the same leg, so we'll install it left leg also. We'll have uh, Jennifer's bed become a medical bed also. Jennifer should hop into bed then and get second leg fixed. It is uh, Jennifer with the missing arm. Which is, is too bad, because Jennifer has the real possibility of being a great shooter one of these days, but only one arm that's not as as the case. You have to imagine that the characters have trouble of bracing themselves to um, ensure best accuracy. So we'll give them a revolver instead so that she shoots kind of wildly, I'm guessing, but um, hopefully the having larger number of shots uh, will ensure the character ends up hitting at least some of those shots. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <clears throat> But Jennifer is, I think, maybe set up not to be a patient immediately. Yeah, patient and bed rest are both fairly low level uh, in the work queue. So after the ostriches are hauled in, we'll change Jennifer around to um, get the operation done, to get them back on their feet as soon as possible here. All right, Yoda's back on uh, the realm of, of living, uh, the realm of, of wakefulness. So I'll give them a bolt action rifle also, I guess. And... We do want to make assault rifles eventually. We're getting very close to the research needed, just gas operation and precision rifling are needed that we can get some uh, assault rifles made. But uh, I think we'll have to get Levin back onto research then instead of uh, trying to put up these these inner walls for defending the inside of the base or drop them back. All right, cool. We had cat birth also. Natalia has given birth. We're now up to uh, only one more cat. Solidarity to the kitten is the only new one. And it's a male also. So that's five cats now. That That's not a happy day. Do not provide walnut for you all cats. I wonder if there's actually any behind the scenes mechanisms that uh, change exactly how many kittens you get uh, from a litter. Or if it really is just pure randomness. I think I've seen up to uh, three or four at my maximum size, but more cats as needed, surely. Now Jennifer, we want you to become patient to get your uh, leg fixed, turn this into a normal bedroom again. Fantastic. Levin, I think getting back on research would be most important right now. As long as we do not have our assault rifles, we're very exposed to major danger. So, get on research instead. Finish up at least this one. And I noticed we have two of our three uh, armor vests made. We want to make one more of those. 
might be lacking in steel. Uh, we'll have Yoder, our crafter, check it out in just a moment, though. Lots of uh, rice not hauled in at all. Potatoes nearly grown. I wonder if these uh, boom lopes are consuming my food. Wonder no more, because I'm pretty sure they are doing so. Let's see if we can uh, get that all hauled in pretty quick here. <clears> though <throat> Jennifer is our hauler. All right, successful peg leg application. So it is. And an escape pod. Hello, friend. Who are you? All right, here, here's Suppy. Suppy the con artist. Uh, surely they wouldn't con us. Well, pyromaniac who cannot fight at all. I was saying I wanted to be a little bit more inclusive in the base, bring in uh, more colonists to keep improving our base's state. Uh, but no, not that kind of person, not even a little bit. Uh, the clothes are pretty nice though, so we will go ahead and run out there and steal their clothes. And then go ahead and uh, probably go ahead and kill off Suppy straight away, which is a vile thing to do. This person lands, wants nothing more than to have a, a place to call their own. They have no supplies of their own. They only have their pet turkey. That is, that's too darn bad. But they'll become our first entry into our uh, cat freezer, which is set up right there. We don't need the meat yet, but we will at some point. Oh, Levin, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Well, not too long. There we go. All right, Levin, go ahead and haul in Suppy, please. Hopefully Suppy goes right into the, the cat freezer, which right here should be good. <clears throat> it's possibly dropped off in this stockpile zone. And if so, I'll have to change the order of priority between the two. But it'd be great to see where exactly they're going. Uh, they're going into the freezer. That's not what we want anymore. So I want to say no longer do human corpses go into here. Uh, instead, human corpses go into the cat freezer. Uh, that's Jennifer to do that. So Jennifer woke up, woke up already and uh, Levin sleeps asleep. So that she get hauled right into here. Right here, rather. At this point, we do want to stop butchering humanoids because um, Jennifer is not a psychopath, could not take the mental strain. So, I've got to keep that need off of here the need of not seeing uh, their fellow humanoids chopped into little bits. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, we'd also leave those clothes up north. I should surely grab those. So, I'll ask Jennifer to prioritize hauling those two in as they are. Super valuable, and also uh, will allow us not to have to keep making more and more new clothes for our people. Anything we do to help with that helps. Uh, the rice is going bad in the rain. Quite bad, actually, to the point that I probably should prioritize hauling it. Uh, Yoder is not able to haul. Levin can do so, though. How is your sleep going? Or say good enough for now, and we'll allow uh, dear sweet Levin to fall asleep a little earlier than usual. Uh, tonight, and I, I said this before, but I think I do need to... Uh, mine out more of this, though, as we saw previously, that infestation happening there was not a happy time. Um, so anything we can do to either keep it really cold in there or to uh, um, hurry the movement from the fields into the freezer be good. Uh, one thing we could do is instead of digging all the way out, we could just have a simple single hallway between the left and right walls. Um, keeping that cold, though, will be top priority. Uh, infestations are, are just no fun, don't you know? Right, Levin's clothes look a little bad here. I think it's your panther shirt. It is your... It is your... Your shirt, yes. But I think we ordered making new shirts. Then we need to get uh, Yoder onto that. So once all the uh, planting is redone here, we have enough food for right now, so Yoder will hopefully shift from growing right on over to uh, smithing to finish up the last armored vest. Then after that, we do want tailoring. And then Fudd's given birth also. Is that another single birth? Have we gotten two a single births? No, actually it was double. Cool. So we have Ruby and Babushka bring us up to seven of 100 cats. Those are two females. Females are the truly the engines of productivity in this colony. Did we butcher that body? I think we did. I think I failed to say no more humanoid butchering. Indeed I did. We're going to stop that now. So Jennifer probably has a debuff. Yeah, we butchered human life, like never, negative six. That's not so bad. Uh, it could be a heck of a lot worse to have the have a, a negative you know, 10 or 15, but six is uh, adding up pretty badly. It all adds up the same. Don't you be despondent, Jennifer. You're a-okay. A little bit of sleep, though. I should get that medicine hauled in. Uh, okay. After done hauling that, please haul the medicine. 
It is precious. We have a decent stack of medicine, so it's not as precious as it might otherwise be. We trust you, Jennifer, not to mental break. I swear we do. So I'm thinking, as I said a bit ago, about extending a single line out to the left to um, hasten moving food in. One worry, though, that'd be then a weak point of the base and would potentially get attacked there instead of into our kill box. All right, we're learning now how to make semi-automatic weapons. Soon and very soon we'll have our assault rifles, just not quite yet, unfortunately. And Jennifer's resting, Yoda's resting, everyone's resting except for Levin. Burn that midnight oil, or I guess that 10 p.m. oil, if you have a little bit of a start on uh, the next level of gun making. Art 10 intellectual, though, that's, that's pretty fantastic. Looking very close to 11 also, so that'll just increase, 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 no problem at all. All right, we did turn off human butchering. Uh, we probably want to gradually turn the rest of the human meat into kibble, uh, just to, to clear out some freezer space. We have plenty of uh, human uh, meat for us to consume also. That's a human food, meat for humans, not meat made of humans, I guess. And the insect meat also uh, we'll use for kibble. I think I only have it set up to make um, with human meat right now. I want to actually add in insect meat also, if it's not been done already. Yeah, it's not. So insect meat also is super great. And we're going to make a couple extra bits of kibble here. But I think now I think about doing that, we'll uh, force Yoder to cook again instead of getting my armor vest made. So we'll pause that briefly. We'll uh, set up again to clear already on it, Yoder. You, you hero, you. Look at that, Yoder. Got the, uh, the bill immediately ran to work. Next up, though, is armor vest, I hope. If they don't start the armor vest, it means we don't have enough steel in the, uh, in the world. Or there's plenty to do. Someday, someday, you will make that armor vest. Should be the last one, then we'll check for armor now. I'm gonna eat your food. Oh, today is follow Yoda around day. I'm just so darn curious why my armor vest is not being made. Harvesting heal roots are just too much work. Yeah, we need a fourth person pretty badly. A lot of fourth person, we're gonna have to consistently struggle to uh, get all the jobs done, but uh, that fourth person who dropped up here, pyromaniac, nonviolent, don't want to deal with it. Uh, having people in the base raises your base's value, and the higher your base's value is, the harder the raids are, and I just don't want to deal with hard raids right now. Not even a little bit. But on the thought that we don't have enough steel to make our, our, our armor vests, we have Levin shift over in mine. This will get us uh, plenty of steel, uh, both for making the armor vests and then for the assault rifles in a little while. Uh, given that our character's crafting is not super great, it's only um, yeah, six now, we might need to make quite a few armor vests uh, and assault rifles to get ones that are of pretty good quality, but we shall see. Right, how many adult females do we have right now in the base? Um, looks like looks like three, um, two and a half adult females. Uh, so hopefully we get a large number of cats come out fairly quick here. That would be fantastic. I think now Yoder is finally working on making an armor vest. Yes, last armor vest we need. The two we've gotten so far have not been of great quality. Uh, poor quality and poor quality. We're hoping for average goodness. You can do it. We believe in you, Yoder. Right, I did see that they're walking this way and slow themselves down. Uh, if I could rebuild this back end, I would surely move the solar generator down just one spot. Uh, that way it would be... Um, parallel with this line here, and then also uh, there'd be a route for him to walk out up north. Oh boy, a manor pack. All right, what do we got? A pack of man-hunting cobras enter the area, they'll roam the region hunting for humanoid flesh. Now, I don't think I have any any mongoose, mongooses to help with the cobras, so how many are going to be? Looks like, I'm about to say only three. Like, for a moment, I only saw those three. I have a very fine feeling. Instead, though, we have ten cobras. That is, that is a... Uh, unfortunate occurrence. I don't think we can hold them off. So we're gonna have Levin close that door. We might try fighting them for a little bit and see how we do. Now, I think that Yoder might be out and about. Yoder is out and about and quite out and about at that. So they're coming from this side, I think. Yeah, from way up here, Yoder is happily on the far side. We're gonna have Yoder run down this way yet again though. Um, and the fear of course is that is that they're going to go directly to Yoder and cut her off before she's able to get around the corner there. Um, but Yoder has been caught out at least once before. Poor, poor Yoder. Where are those sneaky snakes? Coming this way. Yoder is also hurrying along, but not nearly fast enough. 
Uh, we might be able to pop out on this side and draw them down with some shooting. The worry then is they would see uh, these steel doors and attack them instead of coming into the kill box. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do here other than just hope that Yoder makes it through. But I don't think Hope's going to do much in this game, unfortunately. And there they are. There they are. Happy they came down that way, though. So we have a chance, actually, that... Since they didn't go straight for Yoder during the most uh, direct path here, looks like Yoder might get past. Cobras make awful sounds, though. Not at all a fan of those. And the hissing and absolute terror... Uh, Yoder is safe. That's a, a really nice feeling. Did I mark Levin's door to not be held open anymore? I did. So we're in position to do some door-based micro here, and maybe we can kill one or two. Uh, if we kill these first two, as the rest come in somewhat slowly, we'll be A-OK, -okay, I think. But uh, if we miss like that, oh, they finally caught up. No, Yoder. Not like this. Not like this, Yoder. Not like this. This is exactly how the ostriches took down Yoder a bit ago. Uh, just collapse, fall to the ground, play dead. Good job. Okay, so there's still um, three actively in the kill box. Eleven, you're going to pull back. Eleven, you're going to pull back a little faster next time. All right, you're going to pull back also, Jennifer. Are they taking down that door? They might well be. Happily, Eleven is our finest constructor, so we have Eleven charge on up and repair that door. And they should be giving up now. Okay, we're gonna pop out on this side. How long do we have until Yoder ends up dying? I didn't check that yet. Uh, 15 hours. Uh, another finger ripped off, and you got a little bit of poison inside you. Poor friend. Get inside, Jennifer. No more, no more. Okay, 11. No other no other needs to repair the door there. We'll shift over. Maybe we're gonna try to grab Yoder again and, and pull him inside. I don't trust Levin to go out right now. Jennifer pull back again. Oh, so close, so close. Okay, I'll wait behind briefly for them to path away. Attacking all the doors now. Oh, Yoder, what are you doing, you fool? You fool, Yoder. Okay, try to get inside, I guess. Actually, no, it's all pop out and try to protect... Protect Yoder in this moment. But Jennifer... I'm actually thinking now that perhaps popping out is not a good idea, as this snake is very nearby, and though it is heading towards, I don't know what, probably Yoder, I might also shift very quickly and go for Jennifer instead. So go for this door on that side. Levin, you will pop out. And Yoder, run for the wall. Well, I guess not. Well, I guess not. All, all that planning was absolutely unnecessary, given the reality of the situation. Jennifer, pop out now. Pull back, Levin. Oh, we're waiting too long. The... I'm not paying attention well. Uh, the bolt action rifle is a long cooldown uh, until you can... until you can um, move after shooting it. Okay, I think we're going to give up on fighting outside. Our hope is to save Yoder. But I'm not sure it's going to happen. Or happily, they stopped attacking that door. I'm not sure if the Cobras are now programmed, or the managers are now programmed, not to uh, destroy doors, only to give you a good scare by hitting it over and over again. Um, I mean, I am scared, I promise. All right, both of our people who are still up and going need some healing. So we're going to go ahead and candle that. Let me go ahead and self-tend, please. Where's the button at? All right, way to click for self ten Might have to be not in combat, though. There it is. Found self ten finally. We'll actually give you better medicine now. Please, self tend again. Operation Save Yoder is going to be a challenging one this time around. Yeah, I think maybe we go outside with one person, try to draw their attention. We could potentially uh, shell. I mean, I should have mortared earlier. At this point, not going to happen. Right, how many hours do we have on Yoder? I think only... 10 or 11, yeah, 12 hours, not not too long at all. Perhaps back down to two people again real soon here. I'm now kind of wishing I had taken that non-violent pyromaniac so I could use them as bait. All right, you want to eat food, but I need to take care of Jennifer first. 
And let's make sure that Jennifer's not getting the best pet medicine. Yeah, just heal it for now. If they would just go a little bit farther outside of our kill box, we could surely sneak out and grab Yoder, but they're not cooperating all that much. And they do move just quite fast here. What's their actual speed? 4.84, yeah, a fair bit faster than any even healthy colonists. Uh, our colonists, their missing legs and other missing parts are are much slower. Uh, Levin has both of his legs at 3.29. Jennifer is instead only 3.44. Uh, everyone's in pretty bad shape here. But... We could try to attack with revolvers to get like a faster attack and then pull back inside. But Yoder, um, second of our three starting people, I think you might just get a die. There's simply too many of them and we couldn't get inside quite fast enough. Maybe there's an important lesson here about uh, not letting people leave the house ever. Everyone is now stuck inside my base. And it's happened twice now. We've got manor packs while someone's out wandering around the map. And so I'm in two minds right now. On the one hand, It'd be a terrible thing for the base to lose our grower slash cook. A really terrible thing. But risking a rescue for them might also be a terrible thing because uh, might cause everyone to die. And then who will take care of the cats? Now, whenever the cobras pass out, when they fall asleep, it'll be really good. We did one-shot both of these cobras. That probably is the fact of these enemies. We can one-shot every single one if only we can make contact. And our accuracy is... Is not so good right now due to all of the uh, all the damage to all of our people. Manipulation being lowered to poor on our best shooter is is not okay. Is is not a happy way to to, to do well. Um, yeah, shoot accuracy is still ninety five percent. Looks like uh, standard aiming time also. So we'll go ahead and give Levin a revolver, I think, and see if we can get our pickets among them off. Uh, Levin is the one who managed to successfully kill a four or five. Uh, ostriches one after another, which is pretty great. We'll bring down Jennifer also, whose job is going to be trying to fetch Yoder. So we're going to try to draw the entire army over here and then pop out and get Yoder very, very quickly. Wait till the cover of night and hope they're they're docile. They've been thinking thoughts of, of sleep, perhaps. I'd like that a whole bunch, but this might be a suicide mission. We've got to give it a shot anyway and just see what happens. Jennifer's going to wait there yet. Yeah. Oh, this tree is also slowing um, our movement. So chop on that tree, please, Jennifer. We get in and out a little bit faster. Level went back to sleep. Shame on you, Levin. There's an infection. It's going to be on Yoder. No great surprise. Full of poison and just, like, on the ground. Just to get you stabilized and everything be all right. So I have Levin moved to our far side. Jennifer's so slow and cutting on the tree. My goodness. Yeah, I think maybe we can just stop chopping on the tree and instead pop out from this door. I'm gonna do that. And I'm going to hold the door open. That way Jennifer gets back inside much more easily. We have to remember to close it on the way through. So here, I wish this was gone a little bit farther away. Here we go. One down, good job. All right, I didn't actually mean for you to shoot. But let's see if we can go take them all out. Not running outside. Oh, your door's to hold, hold open. <laughs> uh, there we go, close, close, good, good. Let's see if we can keep it up. I mean, if it is the case we managed to kill all of them without running outside to save our friend, I'm gonna be a little bit bummed because that means we could have pushed uh, quite a long time ago. All right, Levin. Why is it not dead? Why have we not one-shot you? Here? Have you focus on this one. A little bit too late. Run inside. Great, this one is so slow in its movement that Levin should be able to kill it, I think. Perhaps not. After all this, I'm pretty sure we're still going to end up with a dead Yoder. Seems likely to me. On to your next shot, Levin. 
So this one is mostly so incredibly, this one's healthy. I, I've, I've confused myself which one is which. There's one that's profoundly wounded. Or that the Cobras have some sort of amazing healing properties. I would not be too surprised in any way. All right, please shoot that one. Good job, good job. Pull back inside. All right, this is being some pretty good uh, door micro right here. Oh, one door's down. Well, it was good door micro until this moment. At this point, good luck, everybody. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, I don't have up doors between the different boxes, and so we can't actually grab Yoda and try to save them. We'll have to see, can two colonists end up killing three Cobras? And I'm, have my fingers crossed. I think at this point going melee on everybody is probably the best. Oh, that's one down. I mean, now, now two down. Things are seeming, that's another one down, good job. This one is so wounded. This one is, is badly hurt in the body. This one's at full health. Jennifer, how bad are for you? We'll be over, yeah, looking pretty bad. Pretty dire for our team. Now, chance of hitting with ranged here is 34%. That's pretty low. Partially has cover by that bush. I think we have to go melee right away and hope for the best friends. Uh, Levin might be able to pop up uh, due to not being entirely knocked out, but we are in a dire spot. Yoder is starving. Another one down. All right, let's go ahead and shoot now. Come on. All right, back to melee. It's just H key. Come on. Just what? There's another Cobra also. Oh, no. And even more. Even more Cobras pouring in. Infections are upon us. The lesson here is we should not have gone to save Yoder, I don't think. Uh, our, our deepest hope now is that Levin finds the way back to his feet. Because uh, you're not in that bad of shape, we'll say. Uh, but I'm thinking, unless that happens very, very soon here, we just get to have a a sad moment of silence uh, for for Yoder especially. My desire to save Yoder, but maybe do some fairly bad choices here. Another one's down, felled. All right, will Levin get up? Oh gosh, someone got up. Who is it? Is Levin? Okay. We do want to go to medical bed. Let's grab our pistol first, though. No good. No good. I wonder if I'd gotten the pistol immediately, the revolver immediately, um, if we'd be able to get a shot or two off. Eleven was so weak in there, it seems really, really unlikely. Now, Jennifer will probably get up once also, but there's still like two and a half Cobras hanging out. The idea of killing any of them is seeming unlikely. Uh, I probably should have done a better job of, of keeping an eye on exactly how many Cobras were left. I think I saw there were like two or three in here near Yoder and said, that's all there are. Uh, at that point, I, I kind of goofed up, as I did also in not keeping good eye on the amount of door uh, stamina left. The, the door uh, fell. There goes Yoder. It's a one down. Yeah, the door fell. I should have been repairing that, absolutely. I was too busy thinking about uh, actually killing some Cobras, though. And to that point, the Cobras had not destroyed any of our doors. I'd come to believe they were discouraged by striking their their cobra teeth onto uh, the metal over and over again. Uh, so, about our, our hundred cat colony. Looks like we ended up with uh, this is somewhat fewer than a hundred, isn't it? That's only that's only uh, seven or so cats. Now they have a nice pile of food in there. They'll live for a while. If we free the cats. To, to run free and eat all the food, they probably will stay alive for a long while here. Um, but at the same time, it's not terribly engaging content to just watch cats reproduce and, and consume the food. Um, and also, it's unlikely that cobras will eat them, but sooner or later, some predator might come and eat them. Uh, but at this point, I think we can safely say uh, we have a 100 cat ch challenge failure. Oh. We'll probably give us a chance to get, uh, try again sometime down the road. Uh, right now, though, we can all drop a tear for Jennifer, Levin, and Yoder. Uh, three poor colonists who definitely deserved a better player than Resorty. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you again real soon.